everybody for coming. There's a lot at stake in Marysville. Your presence is invaluable. And parents know it. Unprecedented for the state to come in and do this. And we reps felt intimate. Parents are coming together to express frustrations about district leaders. The lack of willingness to partner with this community. In a letter to Marysville School District last week, Washington's head honcho in education, Chris Rakedall, assigned them a financial oversight committee. One he says may call for corrective actions and place the district under enhanced financial oversight and or dissolution of the district. I can't imagine that would be terrible if that ended up being the case. This parent of a 10 year old worries really what could happen if the district doesn't get its finances in order. I've heard that there is possibility that other surrounding school districts would essentially absorb different schools within our district. So part of us would be Arlington and part of us would be Lake Stevens and potentially part of us would be Everett. But it's not just finances causing headaches for Rake Dahl. Earlier this month, the district's finance director accused Superintendent Zachary Robbins and the board of cronyism. Soon after, their head of HR suddenly resigned. And days later, the school board president announced he was stepping down. A lot of what's occurred is really based upon incompetent leadership. That's why parents like Jay Hooman were worried that programs are going to get cut or significantly altered are calling for a full upheaval by the state. So the state stepping in at this point, I think, is a very good thing. And I believe, you know, that a lot is going to come to light. Here in Marysville, their money saving plan to close two schools and trim some educational offerings was approved previously by Rake Dahl's office. But now that same office is saying that they didn't follow through and that they also have been spending more than they estimated. I reached out to Marysville School District Communications, but I've yet to hear back. Reporting live in Marysville tonight, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.